it needs to be done. I support and thank you, Mr. Madam Speaker, for this opportunity. The Honorable Ben Suda. Madam Speaker, uh, for giving me this opportunity, I want to make my contribution on the motion that has been brought by Honorable Jane Gigiri on reduced cost of electricity. I think there is no shortcut about this. This is quite critical, this is quite urgent, this is quite clear that it needs to be looked into with the all stakeholders who are in this field, beginning with the managing director of Kenya Power, and I want to call upon strongly the committee which deals with energy to call upon all of them who are involved in this so that can, the country Kenya is brought to the right cost of living. I want to say that normally when we are in parliament, first of all, the contributors whom I've listened to have talked about industrialization in regard to the effect or the impact that the cost of increased electricity has in production. They've also talked about the investors who are in the country who may not continue with their investment because of the high cost of living. I want to make my contribution in support of reduced cost of electricity on the following facts. One, in terms of security, two, in terms of education, three, in terms of human resource, four, in terms of the local person, the Jua Kali artisan, the economic enterprises that we have in our counties. And when I'm talking now, I'm talking specifically to Homer Bay County. We know that there are issues that are there which are not addressed. We cannot be talking of a country of continued increased amount of cost on various things without looking or addressing the prerequisites that are underlining to what is causing the problem. In terms of the Juakali artists and the increased cost of living, has Kenya Power tabled? Have they made known the reasons as to why the cost of electricity continue going high? As a country, as the 13th parliament, in the manifesto that was given by the government, was to ensure that there is sustainable economic empowerment of our youths. That cannot be realized. I'm looking into the person who is the barbershop, the Kinyozi boy, who wants to be empowered through what he's doing. Yet the, the units that he gets once he purchases too high, are we going to realize what we are talking about, youth empowerment? It is crazy. I look into the fishing industry. The people who are able to afford the big trucks and they bring the ice in coolers, we are able to produce this at our local areas. And so the cost of electricity must go down. I'm looking into the education sector, where we are talking about competency-based curriculum. The children here in gallery, not all of them are equal to those in the rural areas. There are some areas we are talking of going digital. We are talking of a digitalized economy, ICT. How are you going to realize this? The education committee equally should investigate and know what is the cost of electricity that the schools, primaries and secondary schools are meeting? Is it affordable? Is it sustainable? These are questions to ask. I'm talking about in terms of security. If we do not have adequate electricity across the country, whether we have the guns, whether we have the tear gas, when the electricity is not there for operation, this cannot work. I'm talking about motivation of the human resource employed under the Kenya power. It will take days for you to reach Kenya power so that there are connections. Why do we talk of increased costs while the jobs that are supposed to do are not well managed? I'm saying the management of Kenya power should up their game. If there is a problem with the transformer, does it mean that they don't have field officers to establish before we report to them? What is it that there is a gap? So I'm saying in the management issues also, let us address the real issues. Let us at all costs plus the ministry ensure that the cost of electricity come down at the sources which can improve and sustain provision of energy is realized. Otherwise, at this rate, we are just going to tell Kenyans we have failed as leaders, we cannot sustain the economy, there is no money, and so education cannot move, security cannot move, your car industry cannot move, and nothing can, can happen. Water is life, and so energy is life. Thank you, Madam Speaker. The Honorable Owen Bayer, member for Kilifi North.